Boss Talk, what's up? Good morning, everybody. What's going on? Another show on the road, man. <laughs> yeah, um, today, Money William, well, yesterday, you know, he signed a four year deal, $78 million with, with the Detroit Pistons. That is great for him, man. You know, you, you don't have any big eagles over there, no big stars. You have young players. And, 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 and they're going to draft young players, people who, who you know he can mold, people who's, that's going to listen to where you need to be, where they need to be rather. And that, that, that's a great, that's a great thing you want to you wanna have as a coach, as a mentor. You know, the, the sons, you know, he made the son, Money William made the sons relevant. From from his time with the Suns, granted they didn't, they didn't win the NBA Finals, but he made them relevant. The time he, he's been there, one coach of the year, 100, 194 wins, I think 115, oh, uh, so 113, 115, whatever, so losses. But it made them relevant. Able to win 64 games. A season that that's you know that that's that is good that is good so the son made a mistake of course you fire a guy like that a guy who's who's pushing and want wanting more from 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 the players you know he didn't want DeAndre DeAndre Ayton DeAndre Ayton to decide hey go to the owner and the owner, of course, there are times you pick players over coaches. All right? There are times you pick the player over coaches. Orlando, you know, and there are times that, you know, it backfired on you. Orlando Magic, my team, I'm, I'm an Orlando Magic fan. I know, you know, I know that you show it because I talk about the Lakers and the other team. You know, I, 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 I am hopeful for, for Ben Carroll. I, I know he's going to do great. But what I'm saying is, Orlando Magic, the Orlando Magic picked, they picked a coach over Shaq. If they didn't do that, you think Shaq would have left for LA? For the Lakers? No. Shaq wanted to stay in Orlando. He loved Orlando. He wanted to stay there with his family. He wanted, you know, because his family, you know, he wanted to stay there. He loved Orlando. His dream, if if you if you talk to Shaq, if you listen to Shaq, I met Shaq a few times. If you met, if you talk to Shaq about what he wants to do, his goal, his dream is to, to buy the Orlando Magic. That's his goal. And you think that the guy would have left Yes, Shaq was, you know, the Orlando Magic at the time, they had they had Penny Hardaway, yeah, Shaq, you had Penny Hardaway, I, I, I am disappointed, of course, they didn't win a ring, they had an opportunity, but, you know, you had Olajuwon, uh, who, was, who was, in his prime, was a better center than, than Shaq, uh, Shaq didn't know how to use his strength, you know, uh, um, didn't know how to use that. But he, but he, when he got to the Lakers with Phil Jackson, that's you know, Phil Jackson was able to to, to help him to tap into that, that that part of his strength, his talent. That's this is your game. You could dominate with that. You, you know, you know, you're, you're seven one, three hundred and sixty pound. Most most guys, there might be seven footers, of course. Right, six eleven, seven footer, but they're they're two eighty the most. You have you have one hundred and sixty pound on these guys. Show that strength, that brute force. You know, you had a, you have Shaq, you had Penny, you had all this Grant, Dennis Scott, you know what I mean? Nick Anderson, all those guys, Skiles. You know, it it, it was. It was great, but they couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't do that. But 
but the coach and Shaq couldn't get along. You know, and, 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 and it was more, you know, ego, all that stuff. If you look at it, the guy had permission, his grandmother died, had permission to go to the funeral to New Jersey, and then I know that they were in the playoffs. You know, I, I, um, the guy had to, the, the owner gave him his plane. Shaq flew to, to Jersey, to, you know, after the funeral, to, you know, he flew back to, to Orlando for the game. And the coach didn't like that. The coach wanted him to be there, you know, you know to be there at the practice, all the stuff. And I understand, I understand the, the, you know, the coach, but, but the, you can't be like that. The guy grandma to die. Most players, most players it wouldn't, it wouldn't even show up. You know what I mean? So, you know, but it is a good situation for Money William. But the, but the, but the, what I was saying is, Orlando picked the coach over Shaq. When, when the riff was going on, it got to the GM. Nothing, you know. It got to the GM, then to the owner. Both owner and GM picked the coach over Shaq. You know, Shaq said, "Oh, okay. You are, you gonna find me? You gonna punish me? Because we, you know, we lost. You know, and and and, and that that was something that okay, you know, he, you know, he didn't, he just thought, all right. So as you know, to leave Orlando, Orlando didn't get anything for Shaq." And that was the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest mistakes. One of the dumbest mistakes. I've seen a lot of dumb mistakes. But that was the dumbest thing ever. So you had a dominant player like Shaq in your building. Because of your ego, you decide it was best to not offer him a contract, no sign and trade, nothing. Let him walk for nothing. I mean, at the time, Shaq went to to the Lakers to become the to be to become the player that 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 he was. No amount of draft picks you would have given that, that that would suffice. So you know that that you know that type of talent, right? You could give you know ten draft picks. Who knows, like, you know, what 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 those draft picks would have would have become. Alright? Now the owner, the GM did a good job drafting players. But he wasn't a smart guy at all. And the owner wasn't smart at all. I will fire everybody. Wait a minute. You telling me you have Shaquille O'Neal in your building? And you let him walk for nothing. But that's that's the thing. Play, the, the owners went with the coach instead of the, instead of the player. And at that moment, but in Money William case, the owner went with the player instead of the coach. That there are times you go with the player, and there are times you go with the coach. And Shaq case, the point I'm trying to make is in Shaquille O'Neal's case. They automatically should have fired the coach. When things weren't working out with the coach, there, 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 there was no way, you know, I, 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 um, the, 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 the owner asked Shot, hey, is there a way we could work this out with the coach? Shot said, no. There's nothing we could do. You know, I, I, I don't want anything to do with him. And asked the coach, is there anything? He's, yeah, the owner said, I, 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 coach, I don't want anything to do with him. So they had to trade. Yeah, they, they let Shot go for nothing. But I'm saying, in a situation like that, it was a rift between the two of the two men. You know what I mean? It's a business. You, you, you should have sat down together and hash it out and talk and find a common ground. We're trying to win a championship here. They should have done that. But again, the owner went with the coach, not the player. For DeAndre Hayton, the owner went with the player, a soft, trash player. It's like Kwame Brown. It's like you pick Kwame Brown over any coach. 
you can't, like, you know what I mean? DeAndre Ayton is, is trash. You have a coach who's telling you, hey, this guy's trash. There's low energy, there's nothing there, not practicing, not working out, he's lazy, he's tired, no, con not, not, no conditioning, you know, you know what I mean? The guy just show up, there's nothing there. The guy's watching everybody just doing, like, man, it's a lousy, lousy person, lousy player. I usually don't attack the person itself, but in his case, yeah. And Money William went to the car, went to the went to the owner to trade DeAndre DeAndre Aiden, right? They didn't do that. They could have traded him. They didn't do that, and got they got they could have traded him and got a lot for him. They didn't do that. They give him a contract. They match that contract. Could have signed and trade. They didn't do it. And he he showed nothing. He showed nothing this year. So you're looking at all of that from a player like that, showing you nothing. I don't know. So it, it was a bad move. For the owner to pick the coach, to pick the player over the coach, is a bad move for the Celtics. The situation with the Celtics. It was is a bad move with with, with with the 76ers picking Joel Embiid, who's you know you know. Yes, he loved Doc River. He loved Doc, but he wasn't listening. He was not listening. When Doc wanted him to. Hey man, you 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 seven one, two eighty. Most guys, besides besides Nikola Jokic, who's a seven footer, who's a seven footer in the in, 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 uh, um, center that can stop him. And I'm watching Anthony Davis at that one game. Anthony, Anthony Davis showed up. Anthony Davis was was having his way with with Joel Embiid. Who's by the way going, going, you know, going to be traded to the Knicks? But that thing was 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 a, was a terrible, terrible thing. So, so I am happy for Money William to have young talent with, with, the, with the Detroit Pistons, young talent, guys who's gonna listen, guys who's, who don't have the influence, the power to go. To, 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 to ownership to demand that we move a coach like Giannis did. Giannis went to management, the owner, but well, new management because the old owner sold the team. It, 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 and people are mad at him for selling the team. The guy started the team from nothing. He bought the team where I think it was $600 million. I think it was like $300 million to whatever, whatever he bought the team for. And, and, and somebody made him an offer for five billion. Tell me, tell me, you know what I mean? I <laughs> you bought the team for for four hundred million. Some someone made you an, made you an offer for five point four million. You made five billion dollar profit. Five billion, not million. Five billion dollar profit. And you telling me? Is that a good deal? The owner looked at it. He said, look, Giannis is a great player. But our, but our, our, our window, we won, a, we won a championship. He had the hard way he can show. Hey, I got the hard way. Boom. He was, he, he was, he was a, winning, you know, a winning owner. As an owner, he won. He, he won at everything. He won at life. He won at business. That was a success, successful move. That was a success for me. Four hundred million, and somebody offer you five point four billion. Hey, you made five billion dollars in return on your investment. That, that, is, that is, you got your money back plus the. Come on, come on, somebody, let's go, man. That was good. So, but I'm saying is, they didn't win. Players, a lot of players like to do what they want to do and don't want, you know, like, 
to have the to have the leadership to have the 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 the, the type of person that person that LeBron James is right. The guy, the guy never have an all of an all of him coach coming in. Jordan, Kobe, they benefit from from an all of him coach, right? Even though I think Phil Jackson's trash, so he didn't do anything with the Knicks. Phil Jackson likes to go go places where. Things are already set, but when he have when he have the thing that are already set, like the Lakers, like Chicago, and stars, he know how to get the best. He know how to yeah, get the best out of them. But when he had to build the team, like you saw with the Knicks, he's trash. He don't know how to evaluate talent. He don't know that. So the so the drafting whatever is not not it's not his thing, but the motivation. He's a motivation, motivational speaker. He could get, he could get that. He could, he could motivate the stars. So, so that was, that was something. But to, to demand that kind of, kind of thing, man, says a lot. But LeBron James made all these. Never play with any Hall of Fame coach. He played with a lot of rookie coaches. That made them who they are today. We could name a lot of players, a lot of coaches, from 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 Cleveland with Brown, from Cleveland with Mike made him. You know what I mean? Then you looking at Eric in Miami made him a champion. You know what I mean? You got a uh, 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 Oh man, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the, um, the coach last year, whatever, for for for, uh, for the Lakers. I forgot his name. Anyway, made him a champion. And and, and Darvin Ham, you know, well, you know, he almost, but he will, he will give him a championship. LeBron's not retiring. The only way you leave the Lakers if if the Lakers don't don't get players. You know what I mean? But anyway. He made a lot of team. He made a lot of, a lot of coaches, and the guy's a superstar, a super, super, superstar, Hall of Fame player, the greatest of all time, number one leading scorer in the in the history of the NBA. Broke a forty year record to be the number one in the NBA in the history of the NBA. Number one in regular season and in, in points. Number one in the playoffs in points and the history. The guy, you know, fourth in assists in the history of the NBA. In, in the, NBA. the guy's dominant. And when, when you look at the category points, rebound, blocks, assists, steal, you know what I mean? All, 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 the, all the things that make you great, all the things you, again, Basketball is a team sport, but all the things that can make you that that the top tier, and he is, he is that. If he's not number one at one, he's number three, four, five, whatever. But he's there. He's on the top ten. He's on the list of the you know the, of, of the of those numbers, the, the individual accolades, the best of the best, the king of all kings. You have kings. He's the he's the emperor. You know what I mean? And, and he never, he's not out there telling the coaches, no, nah, I, tell, I don't want this coach, I don't want that, whatever. You know what I mean? He's not advocating for that. He's trying to do what he got to do. He could have done that. But guys who haven't done it, guys who are not champion, guys who haven't won the championship, like the Joel Embiid, right? <sighs> you know what I mean? Going in, hey, I don't want this coach. Fire the coach. Do this. Kyrie did it. Kevin Durant did it. He's done it. Get rid of the coach. Get rid of the GM. Even though, again, I believe it was, it was a mistake for the GM. <laughs> for the Nets, you bring a coach like, you know what I mean? Steve Nash was not a coach. 
Steve Nash was clearly didn't know what he was doing. Way over his head. He was way over his head. Did not know what he's doing. I've seen a lot of people way over their head. I've seen it. I've been part of those cultures. You know what I mean? But and th and that, that you know, but the guy and, 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 and there's people who you know, guy. This guy know what he's doing. You know, and and and, and those are great cultures to to to, to go and work. You you happy to come to work? When you have someone who understand what you do, someone who understand what it take, the little thing, the, the little nuances, all that stuff, what it, you know what I mean. So, but Nash was not a, was not a coach. He should have been. He should have gotten a job. When you have Mark Jackson who built a team, who built Golden State, who picked a player and, and, and established a defensive mindset, established a winning culture, established you know teaching, yes. Uh, uh Staff Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, all those guys know they know how to shoot, they know how to play. But it was it was Mark Jackson who was there, you know what I mean? Uh, in the off season, you know, give, you know, giving time away from from taking time away from his family to go to go in a gym, shoot around with these guys, taking it, to, uh, inviting players, inviting shooters to 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 help Steph Curry develop his shot, uh, help uh, Clay Thompson develop his shot, help Draymond Green. Become the dominant uh, uh, defensive president that he that he has now that he is now. You know what I mean? So and that's the thing. That's the thing that people don't understand. And that's that's why him and Bob Bob Myers couldn't get along because Bob Myers thought that oh you know oh yeah yeah, yeah. Bob Myers was the one was taking credit for all of that, even though it was Mark Jackson who said hey no 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 drag those players. Mark Jackson was the one with the scouts. Mark Jackson was the one on the road with the scouts to scout those players. Mark Jackson was the one telling the GM, oh, these are the players to draft. Forget these players, you gotta, no, scrap that. Mark Jackson did that. So yes, Bob Myers did a great job as a GM to retain the players, right? But Mark Jackson was the one that helped those scout those scouts that uh, 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 um, Golden State has. They got hired by, by, by Mark Jackson. He picked those guys, guys people who he knows, and they're still in Golden State. So Bob Myers able to pick players, Jordan Poole, all those guys who you know you know they can play, Wiggins and all that stuff, because of Mark Jackson. So yes. So success, when you're on a team, when you're the leader of the team, like Bob Myers was, so anything that, any success, and, and some people don't, some 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 people, so-called so -called leaders, don't know the, on the difference. Because they wanna be a bosses instead of a leader, which is, you know, a lot of time when you have, when you're part of a team, when you when you leading the team, and the team, the team success is your success. You always have to credit for that. You know what I mean? So, I I think that they should have put now. That's, that's a situation where they could have put their feeling aside as, as two men and said, "Hey, Bob Myers would have should have done that because he uh, yeah, he's a, he was the GM." Say, "Hey, let's work that out. We're winning. We got we have a we have a winning formula." We value we, you. You value to the team. You have a winning formula. Let's figure out. Let's find a way. Let's find a solution to to make this thing work. But no, you went to the owner. To, you say I want to fire him because he was challenged. There's a lot. You know, there's a lot of those guys act. A lot of people, you know, men, pretend to be alphas, but they're not. They're not even betas. <laughs> A lot of those people are not even betters, man. And you have alpha female as well. But a lot of people pretend to be alphas and they're not. A lot of people have the boss mentality instead of, instead of leader. You gotta listen sometime, you know what I mean? Listen to people. I mean, I agree. But I am happy for, for Money William. 
to be in a situation that he is now with the Detroit Pistons. Four years, $78 million, and that, that, that is great for him to be in that situation, to be able to uh, uh, um, build the team, mold the team, and you know his track record has proven that. He's gonna do that. On year one, year one you're gonna see Detroit Pistons in a different, different team. Conditioning, strength and conditioning. They're, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna transform. So he's gonna be, he's gonna be there. It's the right time. You give him time, you know, to come in and start scouting. So that's a great position for him. That's a great situation for him. So I'm happy for him to be in that situation where he can, he will be, you know, he can flourish. And the management that that's that, that's willing to listen to him because. Because he could have went anywhere, but he told him, "Hey, I want to have a situation where where I'm valued, where you listen to my input on on, on personnel. That's in, not just the coaches, players, and, and, and so on. And they're giving him that free reign. So Money William got exactly you know you know uh, what he wanted, what he's been wanting." To have with the Suns, but they didn't give him that. They didn't give him that. You know, so so hey, and you, and you, and you saw Nick Nurse <laughs> could, could have gotten a job, and he turned them down. He took the Seventy Sixers, but it's a rebuilding process with the Seventy Sixers, by the way. It's a rebuilding process because they don't have it. But shout out to you know shout out to, to Money William, you know I, 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 you know I, I met him briefly. So, so, you know it's a, it's a, it's, you know he's a great man, great man, great family man, great person to be around. And, and, and you, you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't ask for a better person for Detroit for the Detroit Pistons. You know I. I I'm, there in the East, I'm I'm not too excited because again, you know, I don't want all that competition for, for my for my Orlando Magic. But at the same time, you want the best, I, you know, you want the best from from from, from uh, you know from a conference to dominate where every game you're watching is a, is a great game. Nobody getting blown out like that. You you have great players, solid players, great defense. You know, you love that. Offense could score, could score, but de defense won championship. And, and, and you want to see, uh, 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 you know, not just an offensive, not just one dimensional uh, coach. There's a lot of coaches, whether you know, uh, football, basketball, whatever, that are that are offensive mindset, offensive specialists, but not in a defensive specialist. Or you have a coach that's a, that's a defensive specialist, not an offensive um, guy. But to have someone. Who, 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 who can who can who, who's able to to gather who's able to uh, uh, bring all of that together, man, and and, and, and where, where the ownership allowing him to, to to have the bandwidth to have the, all the stuff to bring all that stuff together. You picking your coaches, you, you know, man. If you go in a situation where they are picking coaches for you, they are picking that for you. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It worked for. For Nick Sirianni with with the, with, the, with the Eagles, you know, what I mean? so it worked for him. He was he was a, a new coach. He never coached before. They wanted to bring people around that couldn't that know what they're doing, and that was good. Some, but sometimes it worked. But when you when you already establish, it's good to to be able to pick who you want, and that is that's something. So so Money William, congrats to him. You know, it's, like I said, he's a great man. He, he you know he's he's in a great situation to. To be able to to do what he's he's gonna do in Detroit with the Detroit Pistons, uh, um, you, the Pistons will will be out there, man. I'm 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 happy for them. You know, they they, they have their guy, they have their coach. Uh, they they can they can they can be relevant again. Uh, go back to the promised land. You know what I mean? They're gonna go back to 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 those days, the Rasheed Wallace days, defense. Uh, if I'm Money William. I, I call Rasheed Wallace. You call Rasheed 
who's, who's, who's a defensive specialist. Ben Wallace, a defensive specialist. So you, you call both Ben Wallace and Rashid to coach your, your, your centers, your power forward and small forward. Not, you know, what you could, you could, you coach your players, your top five, your best, best five will play to coach them how to play defense. And those guys will give you that. Bring them to your staff. I, I thought the Lakers would have done that. Uh, -uh. The, the Lakers were going to do that uh, -uh. when Darvin Ham was, was hired. Uh, -uh. Rashid Wallace was, was in the building, you know, to interview, you know, um, but but they couldn't agree on the money. The Lakers couldn't you know, always want to be cheap. Couldn't agree on the money. Couldn't agree on the year. And, and 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 like it was good. He was ready to come. But but the last minute they couldn't agree on the money. So he stayed where he was. Typical Lakers, man. Not giving the you know people what they want. Try to do try to try to dictate when when they should dictate. They don't dictate. You should you should tell Anthony Davis <laughs> to be a man. Stop up. But anyway, man. Congrats, man. Money William. I you know, bring in Rashid Wallace, bring in Ben Wallace. Have that defensive uh, defensive um, present. You know what I mean? Bring in shooting coach coaches that 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 that, that could teach those players how to shoot. Those the, the three point where to, you know where to be. You know what I mean? So, hey, congrats to him, Money William. Four years, seventy-eight million dollars. That's that's a lot of money. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money, and he has he has full power to do what he wants, when he wants, and that's something that he never had. A, a, a coach that's giving you sixty-four wins, that's giving you the, you know pushing the players. Says a lot. Says a lot. All right, man. Sports talk. Where Lee Kyle Billy's there. That's right. Lee Kyle Billy's there. Sports talk. Let's go. A lot of people don't know, uh, um, don't know how to pronounce, pronounce my name right. It's Lee Kyle Billy's there. R-I-C-A-L. Look, people call me recall. They call me whatever. You know, I let it go, of course. You know what I mean? But Lee Kyle Billy's there. Sports talk. All right? Like, subscribe, share, view, you know what I mean? All of that, all of that stuff is free, man. All of that stuff is free. The like, the subscribe, the share, the view, your comments, I always respond. No one no one on here can say, hey, I, I've... I've you know, no matter, no matter how tired I am, no matter how busy I am, well, once I'm done with work, of course. You know, it might take a day or two. No one could say, hey, man, this guy don't, don't respond to my comment. I respond. So, hey, like, subscribe, share, view, whatever. All that stuff is free. All of the above. They're all free. All right? Let's go, man. You know, happy, happy Friday to some, and in most country right now, in Africa, you know, it's already, it's already Saturday. Yeah, so hey, enjoy the day, man. It's a beautiful day. Sun, sun already out. I'm loving it, man. Peace out. All right.